head, neck, and back relationship. Really, you could say head, neck, and spine relationship. And finding the proper place for that to be. And then once you find that alignment, everything else really does fall into its proper place. The trick is just finding that head, neck, back, head, neck, spine relationship. So we're so used to holding our bodies in a certain way that it becomes very familiar to, to us and we're not sure of where it is a lot of the time. So a big part of this will be about awareness and learning about where your spine is. So I showed some examples of different common postural patterns and you may recognize yourself in one of those. They all are versions of a compromised compressed spine. So it might be that you lean forward a little bit or you lean back, or you know, there's, this is the common rounding. It's all versions of compression. So I'm just gonna lay you down here for a second. So, <laughs> so if you have a typical pattern, this is one of the most common patterns of slumping the spine and letting the head come forward. So just look at that for a second. So the head neck spine relationship is, is all out of whack. And it didn't used to be that way, but over time it's developed there. So this may not feel good, but it feels normal. It feels like it's your familiar habitual pattern and that's all you know. So <clears throat> part of what this will be is gaining awareness. There are a few different uh, principles that we'll be talking about. So one of them is you have to have awareness before you can change anything. So first we'll have to learn that, oh, this is where I am. Okay, this is my pattern. And it might feel like you're normal, but this is problematic for the spine and then the muscles throughout your whole rest of your body, especially in your back. So awareness will be our first really big principle that we need to focus on here. So another one is what we call kind of a faulty sensory appreciation, it's like a, almost like a false um, understanding of where our body is. And all that means is that we're so used to this, like I just said, this feels normal, everything else will feel a little strange. So when I start having you lengthen your spine up, this will feel strange. That felt like you're normal, this will feel weird. So we just have to accept that that's going to happen. It's going to feel weird at first, it will feel a little strange, it may not feel like you can keep that position, hold it or sustain it at all, and that's completely normal, that is all part of the process. Again, this is all a process. So that faulty sensory um, awareness just means that you're used to your patterns, everything else will feel a little bit strange. If you've been twisted this way for 16 years and then someone turns you back this way, you'd feel like you were twisted all the way this way. It's just that sense of what you're used to and then changing something. So that's that faulty sensory appreciation.